Hello and welcome once again to Time of the Month, my monthly vlog series. I would like to have a little bit of a chat with you this month, I think, but I'll save it for the outro. In the meantime, you can sit back with your cup of tea or glass of wine or snacks or treats or dinner or whatever it is that you have available to you and just enjoy a good old fashioned classic episode of Time of the Month. This is August. Their morning routine. Just a shot of Jack's ass. Sorry. So, hi. I wasn't. You bent over. Yeah, Kitty. Thanks for your help on the you hate me. <laughs> you hate me so much, right. don't you? Yeah, that'll work. And then one more person in the back. Perfect. Hey, yeah. yeah. No, whatever. We recorded a trailer and it wasn't the mess at all. Yes. Chef, it's all killer out now in this. Universe. This is hold on. It's August. Oh, this will be up at the end of September. So is that it's out? Yeah, it's gonna be out. All killers fucking out, mate. Go watch it. Go watch it. I'm it is out. I will link through the description though, because they put an awful lot of time into it and it's very fun and good and genuinely like yeah. it's not shit. It's not shit, which is what a lot of things online are. Oh, so there's there's that. Good morning. Well, I'm being quiet because I'm currently in the bathroom at Claridge's. Um psyching myself off to go interview. Marco Robbie, actual Marco Robbie. Very excited, I'm very nervous. You know the way to my heart. I do, I do. Well, there was questions over whether or not Margot was going to have a drink, and I didn't want to say them like she's Australian. <laughs> she's Australian. She's going to have a drink. Go right back. I fit in there really well. So. What are you doing there, mate? So. Like a swan. Like a graceful swan. Just had some mimosas with uh, Margot Robbie, as you do. And then we had a little lunch and a few glasses of wine in Claridge's, and now we're here. And we're a little bit tipsy. <laughs> and now we're gonna go watch Nerve. And then I'm gonna do a tipsy talk with Dave Franco. Just a casual Friday. What a day. Just a casual Friday. Standard. Standard. <laughs> 
one wants to see my upper thigh area. It's just blindingly white and uh, the least toned part of my body. <laughs> I think I, how do we do, how do we do? We how did do not we do, do great, I, we were tall. Yeah. It's not eaten. Gonna see Jack's mom for a birthday. He's got some flowers. He's a good son. I've got her some wine. She'll probably like mine more. I also would like to point out that Hazel also got my mom a card. <laughs> that you're supposed to put money in. <laughs> she accidentally bought a card that has all the folds in it where you can just place like a gift voucher in or something. Go on, get it, get it Zoe. Get that teddy, get the teddy. I have cake. I know she wants to be my friend. It's so big. I'm not giving her the cake. I'm not giving her the cake. What's happened yesterday? Look at her, look at her little face. Look at her. Look at her. For a bit of cake. Yeah, it's, it's a standoff. Um, yes. We've we got ourselves an old fashioned standoff, have we, Zoe? Oh, hello. Hello, boat. Oh, you've been a right treat, boat. Thank you. Thank you, boat. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah. Look, I can't see a thing. We're going out and about in Nottingham. It's probably lovely. Angela's made a Sunday. Day. Look at this shot. Just look how good that food. Can we just? I'm eating it. I don't need to look at it. Okay. It looks nice. It looks nice. Yeah. It doesn't taste like. It. Thank you, Angela. Like Harry Potter. <laughs> no, don't brush it off. Don't. I'd rather, I'd rather just, I'd rather you didn't touch me. <laughs> <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the dog. <laughs> don't use that. You fucking. Had a little meeting this morning with um, who did I meet with? IWC for the BFI film. Uh, London Film Festival. Yeah. London Film Festival. Uh, they want me to do a thing similar to the BAFTAs, so that might be happening. So I was in town having a meeting. I dragged this one out. Look who you okay. found. Okay. We've had a lot of day dates. We have. I enjoy it. It's fun. So we're having a little wander now up to, um, we're heading to the premiere of Ricky Gervais' new film. And we're going to meet Jack there and Midnight Beast. Yeah. And some people. Yeah. Fine. Having a nice day in London, really. And then that, that will happen. This, is a, this has been a great vlog. <laughs> it's we, like every I, other shot. I need to stop vlogging from Leicester fucking Square with Jack <laughs> beside me. But look, this is a new thing. This is a new thing. Not, not you, not Becky. Far. You're less important now. Tim's here. Tom, Tim and I walking. Oh, I'm very well. A fairly Thank unadventurous red carpet. It's not like it's very quiet. Well, well, yes. Everyone's just. Well, well, I think none of the celebs have arrived yet, so everyone's just being really calm. I went out. I saw the film War Dogs. Very, very bloody good. Go watch it. I've come home to this. It's tipsy talk. It's a tipsy talk with Dodie Clark and John Coe's out on my fucking sofa. She's still on the format. She's having a website. She's booking flights to LA. It's madness. Madness. It's a good format. John, say hi. 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 Hello, Hazel. Hi. He literally landed today. He's like so fucking jet lagged. I feel it's been like no. I didn't sleep on the plane, and then we tried. We've been trying to shoot something for several hours. A song, but it's that's not gonna work. And now I'm gonna fly to LA and do it instead. I'm practicing. Sit see tomorrow. We've all 
Blood Coat to their merch stand right now to get this amazing snail and salad. An all time classic poster, which I'll be hanging on my wall after this. Don't miss out on this poster, as you can see. The one and only. What's the crack there, Sean? I will. It's cracking it on somewhere in the city. This is it. Yeah. Lovely. Lovely banter. Any messages for the internet there, Sean? Uh, fair play. Well, well done on interneting in general. Doing well. Uh, lovely time, <laughs> lovely crack, lovely banter. I don't, I, I'm, for some reason it's down here, so I keep like. Just, yeah. I'm just with her. <laughs> She's smiling. Do you have a message for the internet? Uh, be better to women. <laughs> wow, good. <laughs> I can't fucking deal with anxiety. Please, God, help me. Fuck. I'm sure there are a lot of white people here. Don't open a shaken can of Fanta without tapping it on the top four times. Dick Cheney made money off the Iraq war. Stay in school, don't do drugs. Right, what's happened is tonight we are going to see Louis C.K., which is very exciting. Um, but <laughs> Jack somehow thought it was like in the O2 on the east side of London, which is right beside the Excel, which is where somewhere in the city is. But it's not in the O2, it's in Wembley, which if any of you know London know it's not here. <laughs> we booked a hotel tonight in East London because we thought we were going to the gig and staying in East London and then getting up and going straight to somewhere in the city in the morning which is right here. But we're not, we're going all the way back west. So that's the thing and now we're late and I'm, I shouldn't even be vlogging, I shouldn't be vlogging. I'm just grabbing some stuff in the hotel room and now I'm running to go see the show. Ah! Jack's back, he's in a really good mood. Is this a good time to vlog, is it? Yeah. I really want to pour water on the camera. That's that's my that's where my brain went right now. That's the mood I'm in. I wanted to just do that and just pour water on the camera and be like, fuck you. But I won't do that, because I'm not that awful of a person, but I think those things. It's Wembley, it's on there. We're so close. Where's Wembley? It's there. Where? It's there. Where? Just go that way. Made it. Day two. There's some people doing actual work behind me. Swimming and running and being active and shit. I'm gonna do my fake job for the day. is over, Hazel is exhausted and she doesn't know what I'm saying right now but she probably thinks I'm saying something mean but she did such an amazing job. Anyone who met her at Summer in the City knows that she gave 100% to every single person who she met. She stayed at her merch stand the entire time so she could meet you as well as doing a meet and greet, like an official one. Just yeah, she's brilliant and I just need her to know that. I'll, it, I'll say it to her face as well but I'll also record it so I look like a really good boyfriend because uh, that's what it, it really matters, isn't it? What you think. Fly me to the moon and let me 
sing among the stars. Let me see what spring is like on Jupiter and Mars. In other words, and here we have the Daniel J. Layton in his natural habitat. Yeah. Hunched over a stove. Hunched. 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 <laughs> No spoilers. No spoilers. That's but a curtain. That's a curtain. That's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the word. That's the letter H. The little H. And you know that. That's all right. You know, it's called Harry Potter. His name does begin with an H. We knew that. That's... Yeah. So that's that's not ruining anything for you. Don't don't vlog now. I'm, I'm taking my jacket off. What's happening? What's happening. Roll with it. Sure. We've had a bit of pizza. Yep. Have some wine. It's important stuff that you should know. It's important. And we're back for round two. Very bloody exciting. I want to show you what's on the stage right now. Spoilers. See the after. Oh. I did get a very beautiful shot of the cast bowing at the end, but I was made deleted. Yeah, I mean obviously the hashtag for the show is literally keep the secrets. Yeah, but by the way, here's a spoiler. Voldemort's gay in this one. I thought it was really like brave of them to make that choice. <laughs> Imagine Voldemort was just gay <laughs> for no particular reason. <laughs> Hello and welcome to today, the day after yesterday that you just saw. Uh, I'm in Jack's house. There's some exciting things happening. Yeah, Jack and Eve are doing some writing. Hello. That's happening. Good lads, continue. Bye. Bye. And down the other end of the house, it's none other. <laughs> the Dr. Jane Lipton and a cocker no less. <laughs> yeah. What a shock, eh? What a turn oh, up the road. This is why I got the camera. Because look at this shit. That's just melted chocolate and butter. That is literally all that is. That is great. Yeah. Good job, Dan. Right. So I'm going to say this year was very, very exhausting. Mm. Really caught me off guard. As it did Dan, I think. Yeah, I wasn't expecting to do as much as I ended up doing. I think was... we forget how much we grow in a year. Yeah. So we go back expecting to have the same experience we did last time and it's not. And also how much somewhere in the city has grown in a yes. year. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The sheer numbers of people. It's a lot. I was left a bit of a shell of my former self after Summer in the City and um, I think I think what happened with me was a lot of it was <laughs> last, <laughs> last... That's my best one, is when if, you're, if you go back and watch all the time of the months when Hazel starts the sentence and then goes and we're very certain and then goes eh, and then starts again so it's like, you know it's gonna you, be big. You see what happened? Eh, you uh -huh. see what happened? Uh -huh. It's me almost crying. It's kids, right? Last summer in the city, I hadn't made that episode of Time of the Month. Mm. I hadn't made August. It's very raw. A lot of people had used the vlog at the end of that about grief to like help them through a time, and then they came to talk to me about that time. Mm. And yeah, it was one girl. I'm gonna start fucking crying. I'm not gonna start crying. It was one girl whose best friend had passed away, and she told me this while I was at my merch stand. And I, d I didn't know what to do with that information. I was really upset, but tried to like keep a brave face for her. I was like, soldier on, everything will be fine, it's fine. And then she, um, <laughs> she walked away from the stand and I just broke <laughs> and turned around and sobbed for a bit and poor Ben just had to deal with oh, me. Awesome. And that was sort of just the theme of the weekend. It was just people telling me of, of, of loved ones they'd lost or breakups they'd had or d dealing with depression or anxiety or whatever and how I was helping and god that's lovely it's so fucking lovely to know that I'm helping in some way 
but at the same time to... A lot. This was an emotional one. It was an emotional one. That's what it was. Yeah. Was yours emotional? No. Can you hold the camera? My Somewhere in the City, welcome to this angle, was <laughs> <laughs> like... It was, it was pleasant, it was perfectly pleasant. Lots of people saying lots of nice things and then I did lots of things on the main stage. I interviewed Ricky Dillon without knowing who Ricky Dillon was. I was in Claridge's recently. Okay. And... Um, How much of this is gonna go in? Who knows? I'd done the tipsy talk of Margot Robbie. Lovely Margot. I was a little bit drunk and I was left sort of alone in Claridge's a bit drunk in the restaurant for a while. I was caviar lady. You were double caviar lady. I was double caviar lady. And then I text Jack oh. to say, I'm in Claridge's and I feel like I've become double caviar lady. You're lovely. You're lovely. And he said to me, maybe she was you from the future. No. No. You can't put time travel into everything, Hazel. <laughs> but you I can't. Can, no. I like that. That's canon now. Yeah. Hazel is actually double If you camera. don't understand What a that, twist. If you don't understand that, you need to look at, I want to say Flipped October. Uh, well, yeah. October time of the month. I think so. Should we make more brownies now? Yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I think I'm actually crying now. <laughs> <laughs> Give, the fuck Give her a cuddle. <laughs> Give her a cuddle. Oh. Affection. <laughs>
every other wonderful experience I have now simply wouldn't exist if I hadn't gone through what I went through a year ago. Most of the things I have in my life now, most of the people I love and relationships I have with them wouldn't be the same. I wouldn't be the same. The simple fact that I didn't think twice about it, that this month isn't any different to the others, that I just, you know, wanted to film it and remember it like all the others is in itself the best possible response to last year's episode. It's the best possible way of showing you how far I've come. And if you take one thing away from this episode, let it be the knowledge that even when you feel your absolute lowest, there is always hope. And things won't ever be perfect. I mean, I'm not dealing with that breakup anymore, but it still hurts sometimes. Life's always gonna find a way of throwing new problems at you. But you do become stronger and wiser, more resilient, better equipped, I guess, to just deal with all the shit that life throws at you. A year ago, I couldn't even bring myself to think about the future because suddenly the future was gonna be a lot different than I planned. Everything just got pulled out from under me and there were times when I genuinely felt like I would never be able to build my life back up again. But I did. <laughs> and now that terrifying future is my actually not scary at all present and everything is okay i'm okay i made it that was on me <laughs> that's been all good